Hi Capricorn, so this is going to be a reading from the 2nd through the 8th of October and we'll be dealing with your past, your present, your future and I'll also be pulling out a specific card for your person. Let's see what's going on right there and if this resonates with you, own it and leave a question down below for me and I would love to address those questions for you guys. So, okay, happy for Capricorn, please. Oh, Capricorn, what is going on? Why are you guys angry at me? I didn't do anything. Ace of Swords. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Now this is the third reading where the past card is actually the Ace of Swords, you guys. Again, my aha card. I don't know what's going on. Mm, but yeah, this is one common factor that I'm getting, the Ace of Swords. That's weird. Okay. So Capricorn, for your past right here, we've got the Ace of Swords. This may mean new beginnings, new opportunities, and that beautiful phrase that I love, the aha moment. So I will be clarifying this very, very soon. For your present, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Now the Nine of Pentacles mean that whatever hard work that you've been putting into something, you will be receiving, um, you know, the results, the fruits of that very, very soon. Uh, in your future right here, we've got the Six of Wands. Now the Six of Wands is a very beautiful card, especially for artists, for somebody on stage, some somebody who, you know, deals with being at the center of the stage, at the center of attention for people. This represents uh, getting successful, getting that name, that fame, that money, um, and you know, a lot of success, all attention on you, all eyes on you. That's what this represents for your future. That's very, very interesting, Capricorn. And for your person right here, I've got the Four of Pentacles. Now the Four of Pentacles may be representing something that this person is someone uh, from your work life, someone at your job, someone whom you met via your job or your business, but we'll clarify this soon. And this person, oh, okay. I don't know why I'm getting this message. I don't know whether I should say this or not, but this person may not be very good at handling their finances and they believe in saving as opposed to spending. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm getting for your person. Let me just clarify the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords, please, for Gabby. Okay, that was quick. Got the Eight of Wands, Three of Pentacles, King of Cups. Beautiful. That's a really nice energy. I love the Eight of Wands energy, you guys. It's full of love, full of life. It's full of creativity. So again, if you are somebody or your person is somebody who is a creative person, there might be time, um, you know, where you are recognized at least as an artist uh, and you're given that limelight as an artist um again uh, there might be some situations in your past where there were a lot of gatherings and you know um two or more people sitting together and trying to make something creative um trying to build something now this may be a business this may be a love relationship for uh, some of us or this may be uh, you know just building friendships whatever your goal was there were a few instances where there was uh, more than two people coming together trying to build something and uh, in in those people there may be your love interest who is very very a beautiful soul somebody who loves you you both are in a beautiful relationship i mean you were in, in a beautiful relationship in your past I don't know uh, with the aha moment you know what I think I'm going to take out one more card because I'm not getting a direct message for this ace right here because uh, up until now what I can tell you for this ace is that there was an opportunity to build something you guys were gathering together there were meetings and get togethers where there was something being built which was related to the creative aspects of your life and uh, there was this person your love interest also present there i want one more card for this please spirit please direct messages please no oh, i i need direct messages please okay one more card 
it real <laughs> okay of course thank you spirit okay so the wheel you guys the wheel represents as you know the time wheel keeps on turning it and you know so there was something that had changed in your life in your past and there was time to rebuild things and again with the aha moment i can tell you guys was that um, you were feeling stagnant in your life and you know you felt that there are things that needed your attention there are things that especially in your career life that you weren't able to um, give efforts to so there came a point in your life where you switched to something new and um, your partner was very supportive at that time with you guys your partner knew what you wanted they were there helping you supporting you giving you ideas about it so that's a very beautiful energy with the wheel right here i can tell you guys that there was something going on which was really related to your destiny uh, yeah, one of those uh, one of those paths needed to end for you and a new path needed to uh, you know open for you where you can walk in and you know just enjoy what is destined destined for you i think that you will be building this by yourself with the help of others what i'm seeing is that there may be a few people if you're building a business this is not going to be a solo business there are going to be partners if this is going to be a job opportunity you may be uh, you know getting this interview or this job because of some uh, recommendation or someone told a friend told you about this interview so you're not going to do this alone alone i mean it's going to be your talent alone but uh, someone is going to be there to help you out and your person of course is going to be there and if this was building a relationship even uh, uh maybe there was some some of us who were trying to build a family and if you were you know trying to get pregnant or you already are pregnant you were trying to you know build that house beautiful house build that uh, you know a, a specific room for your child whatever it was that you were building you were building it together with the people you love surrounded by the people you love and with your love interest right here everything is building everything is very very energetic you guys are in love and you guys um in your past specifically you everything was going like great and you were on the building step of that particular thing now in the present right here i think that because there has been a lot of hard work that has already been put in that specific project if i can say um so now what is going to happen is that you are going to receive the fruits of those hard work you will start receiving the fruits now in the present very very soon uh, i mean within a span of a month or three months you will be receiving those uh, beautiful fruits of your labor let me just clarify the 9 of pentacles though for the present you guys for capi please keep it on okay Seven of Wands, Knight of Wands, the Sun. Okay, Capricorn. I don't think I can ask for anything more beautiful than this for you guys in the present. So whatever it was that you were building, again you were destined to build that. It was your life path, and now you will be very, very extremely happy with the results. Everything that you've been imagining is going to come to you. There's going to be abundance everything you ask for the universe is going to be answering that in a yes because the sun card right here is the yes card this is the more happiest card of the deck this is also the most important card of the deck and if i get this in a reading i know that the person is going to be happy content satisfied full of love surrounded by people they love so yeah in the present the situation seems very very beautiful also your intuition is at par just you know what i would uh Uh, like to tell you guys apart from that is that you know if if you feel too happy about the situation if you cannot control your happiness or you know sometimes what happens with us is that the happiness also gets to our head sometimes because if it's coming like this rushing in towards you i just have to uh, you know tell you guys to stay connected with yourself in some way or the other whether you like meditating or just giving yourself 15 minutes of alone time whatever it is that you guys like just don't let it get to your head and also just keep yourself calm during the situation your hard work is paying off and it's it's something that you you deserve for a very long time and now that you're receiving it 
you just need to show the universe that you really deserve this do not be someone who gets uh, arrogant or you know builds ego out of it be someone who builds a beautiful a nice empire for themselves a beautiful nice base for themselves where things can grow as opposed to you know building your ego because i can feel right here that things are going to be rushing towards you now they they will be you know today maybe for example if your bank account today just an example if your bank account today is 10000 10000 very soon it will be maybe 1 lakh and then very soon it will be 1 cr so that's going to be as rushed as that whatever situation that you are in right now and whatever you're wishing for right now is rushing towards you in full speed and that is going to make you very very happy and again because things are going to happen so beautifully i don't think i need to really clarify the six of wands here this i mean in the future you you are going to be the center of attention at least for your circles for your friend circles for your family circles for your friends of friends for people connected to you on um, you know social media whatever it is you are going to get famous you are going to get successful everyone will be admiring you for that and you will be inspiring people for it so this is a beautiful energy for you in the future um and i i don't think i need any kind of clarifications for this because any you know uh, if if things weren't going really well i would really pull out things for you to be cautious of but no i don't think i need to clarify the six of wands this is beautiful you guys and just bask into that energy capi let me just just clarify this four of pentacles here for the for your person capricorn Okay, please direct messages. Okay, uh, the two of wands, the tower, the strength card. Hmm. Okay. 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 So Capricorn, what I'm getting for your person is that I know they've been supportive of you in the past, and they've been with you in this journey, uh, but. if you trust them blindly i'm not saying that they are they are cheating on you or something but there might be some aspects of them that you don't know yet there might be some aspects of them that they're hiding from you right now and if that is happening um and you really know don't know about it i'm just asking you to be cautious and do not trust them blindly i mean especially on uh, situations related to your finance they are a loving person i mean i'm not i'm not saying that they are a bad person but whoever is romantically connected to you in your life right now you really need to be cautious in trusting them don't just you know put everything in their hands and leave or things like that uh, they may be a very good person they i mean probably nothing really going on but that's that's what the message that i'm getting for you guys is not to trust that person right now completely now this may change very well but yeah especially when you're not around what is important to you and this person is around that thing be cautious okay um and because there might be some things that may happen if you are trusting this person blindly uh i pray not because everything else is uh looking extremely beautiful for you guys but there are things that may happen that may hurt you or you know that may hurt the this particular project that you've built and this particular project that you you know hurt i mean uh, worked so hard for so uh yeah and also do not specifically leave your keys or um your bundle of notes or your bag with information your pen drive for that information with this person Yeah so that's what I'm getting for you and I hope that I was able to sort a few questions in your mind if not you can leave a few questions down below and I'll see you next time bye bye